Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. You have reached the Simple Abundance Year channel with me, Carolyn Coogan. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that despite all the craziness in the world that you are still keeping the Simple Abundance principles. These are from Sarah Bon Bronick's book, Simple Abundance. Uh, they are joy, harmony, beauty, order, simplicity, and gratitude. Hope you're keeping those principles in mind somehow, at least doing your gratitude journal or whatever practice you do. I know somebody said on the comments that they were recording the things they were grat grat grateful for on their phones or writing it in a journal or just praying at night with it, however you're doing it. Gratitude is so important, especially in these uncertain times where we might be holding on to things like anything that we can to be grateful for for the day. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying well. I hope you are not getting too consumed by the media and all the news. I know for me, I have to shut it off sometimes because it's just, it's too much. And I was actually reading, I've mentioned before in another video about Cheryl Richardson's The Art of Extreme Self-Care. It's another book that I've mentioned. I was flipping through that uh, this week and looking at the section about, I think it's called You're So Sensitive because I am very, very highly sensitive. If you don't know the term highly sensitive person, HSP, it's actually a, I think, psychological term, I guess you could call it. And I definitely have learned through the years that I am an HSP. And so one of the things that Cheryl talks about in that chapter about being sensitive is that you really do have to think about what you're bringing into your daily experience. So if the news is really affecting you, then you may have to shut that out or limit it because you don't may not want to be entirely uninformed about the situation we have right now because it does seem to change day to day, right? Um, but yeah, if you are also a highly sensitive person, then you want to give some thought to what you're what you're having around you know i was on a zoom call with some friends last week and somebody made the comment about what are you um binge watching on netflix and the things that were <laughs> like the things that were being tossed around they were all so violent like serial killers and child molesters and there's that tiger guy that's on everybody's talking about on Netflix and, and Ozark and all these things that people are binge watching and I just was thinking like there's already enough craziness in the world like do you really want to bring in more chaos I don't know actually maybe there maybe that's resonating with people because that's sort of the vibration that they're in right now but I chimed in and I was like I've been watching Disney plus because <laughs> that is so me um that's what I want to watch. I'm put the Smurfs on or reruns of Mr. Rogers or something. So anyway, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> I'm coming to you with the entry from April 7th, and it's called You're Worth It, okay? I'm not going to read the whole thing, and actually it's mostly centered around what do you think we've been talking about, right? Fashion and clothing. So it is centered around how your tastes might be, may be a little more extravagant than is realistic. But she does talk about how you can still have a sense of style by shopping consignment places and vintage stores and really coming up with your own flavor. Like instead of trying to go out and get the latest thing that's in style that really putting together an eclectic look which might be like I do like uh, what they would call bohemian sort of style I guess I'm more drawn to that stuff but when I was thinking about the name of this entry you're worth it I thought 
I want to share with you guys today a reading from, I've mentioned Louise Hay so many times. This is her companion book to the You Can Heal Your Life book, which if you don't own that book, you should get it, okay? That is, I mean, Louise Hay has since passed on, but what a pioneer for emotional healing and healing that also correlates with the body as well. Like in her You Can Heal Your Life book, she has a whole glossary of various affirmations that you can say if you're having certain physical ailments. I mean, she has done so much research really on heart-centered work. And so I wanted to read you something out of this workbook that this is my second time of doing it. So I actually, when I first had this book, I ripped this page out and I had it framed at one time, but I should probably put it back on the wall, but I love this. It's called the deservability treatment. And it's the same, when I think about deservability, it's just like that statement, you're worth it, right? I think we can probably all relate to feeling like we're not deserving sometimes, right? So this is the deservability treatment, care of Louise Hay, and I hope you enjoy it, okay? I am one with life, and all of life loves me and supports me. I am deserving. I deserve all good. Not some, not a little bit, but all good. I now move past all negative restricting thoughts. I release and let go of the limitations of my parents. I can love them and I can go beyond them. I am not their negative opinions nor their limiting beliefs. I am not bound by any of the fears of or prejudices of the current society I live in. I no longer identify with limitations of any kind. In my mind, I have total freedom. I now move into a new space of consciousness where I am willing to see myself differently. I am willing to create new thoughts about myself and about my life. My new thinking becomes new experiences. I now know and affirm that I am one with the prospering power of the universe. As such, I now prosper in a number of ways. The totality of possibilities lies before me. I deserve a good life. I deserve an abundant life. I deserve an abundance of love. I deserve good health. I deserve to live comfortably and to prosper. I deserve joy and happiness. I deserve freedom to be all that I can be. I deserve more than that. I deserve all good. The universe is more than willing to manifest my new beliefs. This is the truth of my being and I accept it as so. All is well in my world. Hey, remember when I showed you guys my affirmation deck and my last card is all is well in my world? That's a Louise Hay thing. <laughs> I love Louise Hay. <laughs> I hope you liked that. That was basically a list of a lot of affirmations. If you haven't already put together an affirmation deck or something like that, those are some that you could maybe pause the video and write down, or you could get your hands on this. Although I will say when I went to buy this two years ago again, because I had had my other copy at least 10, maybe 15 years, Mm, yeah, more like maybe 15 to 20 years. It was hard to find this. I think I had to buy it on eBay or somewhere like that. Because Louise Hay passed away, she is the person that started Hay House, which is a publisher company. And I think that they have ceased publishing some of the things, like some of those older publications. So how are you guys doing? Have you done any closet clean out? Have you been looking around for colors? I've been so thinking about that last video every time I've gone for a walk. We have had the most beautiful weather and I was even in a t-shirt today on my walk and I was just looking at like, oh, I really like red doors because that reminds me when I was growing up, we had a red door. So I've been enjoying seeing all the colors and, and just, just trying to find peace in my days and I hope that you are too. 
and I hope you'll leave a comment and let me know how you're doing and if you have any thoughts and if you've done any of the the um, wardrobe work or cut out any pictures for your illustrated discovery journal definitely let me know and I hope tonight if you've fallen off the wagon of your gratitude journal that this will be a little bit of a reminder to get back together with that. All right, you guys have a good night and I'll see you next time. Bye.